Hey parents of seventh graders, my name is Matt and I'm excited to welcome your student to YXJ High. YXJ High meets Sundays at 10 a.m. in the student building at our Valencia campus. And at YX we have time to hang out together, we play a game, we worship, we hear a message, and then we have small groups. And because we're trying to pack so much in on Sunday mornings, we typically run about 10 minutes longer than the adult service. But don't worry, after your adult service lets out, our lobby is open for you to come and wait, wait for groups to finish up, maybe enjoy some coffee, and enjoy some company with other parents as well. And your seventh grader is welcome to start joining us right now, every Sunday, starting from here on out. But we will have an official welcome for all of our seventh graders on August 15th for our fall kickoff. That Sunday, we're gonna have free food, a welcome gift for your student, and an opportunity for them to meet their new small group leaders. So when you show up, feel free to come in with them. You can register them at our Start Here counter, and then you can send your student on in with us into the auditorium. If you wanna get a feel for what a YX service consists of, you can even hang out in our lobby and watch our service from there if you want. Or you're already watching this video on our YouTube channel, feel free to watch previous services while you get a glimpse of what we do at YX. So that covers all the details on how to get your seventh grader coming to J High. So I'm giving you permission to turn the video off right here. In fact, I won't even know if you stop watching. But if you do want to stick around for just a few more minutes, I want to talk to you not just about August 15th, but I want to talk to you also about the next two years of your student's life. You have a middle schooler now. I don't know if you realize that. Uh, and I don't know if he or she is your first middle schooler, if you've already gone through middle school with another one of your kids. But I do know that there are a lot of changes about to happen in your student's life. So what changes in middle school? Well, if I had to sum it up, the biggest change you're going to see over the next two years is the rise of individualism. Your student is going to make more of his or her own choices like never before. They're going to experience individualism in choosing their friends and how they dress and choose their appearance. Even what they study and the subjects they pick, the custom learning tracks for school start in junior high. So I want to pause and say that the rise of individualism it's not the same thing as the rise of independence. Even if your middle schooler wants it to mean the same thing, they're not the same thing. No, you're still their parent and you need to keep pointing them in the way that they should go. But what you'll see is more important than ever as you train, discipline, and correct your middle schooler, it's time to start talking even deeper about your why. We don't have to try to stop individualism. We can actually leverage it well in the next season. As your student figures out who he or she is going to be, they're also making decisions about what their faith is going to look like. We can leverage the rise of individualism to talk about why Jesus is worth following. This is where we can be excellent teammates to you. Do you know on average that you spend 3,000 hours with your kid per year? Compare that to our group leaders at YX. If your son or daughter came to every single YX this next year, our group leaders would only still rack up about 80 hours with your student. So we know that what we do is a compliment. It's a help to what you do. You are still the main spiritual mentor to your student. And if we partner well together, I think we can help you leverage individualism to have great conversations about faith with your student. Now, I know at times, especially for our, our guys, there's a challenge to get more than one word answers out of them, right? You pick them up after YX and you ask them, how was it? And they respond with, good. You ask, what did you talk about? They say, God, Jesus, stuff. I don't know. So let me tell you a little more about what YX does and then I'll wrap up talking about how we partner up with you. Just like you, we're not fighting against individualism. We're leveraging it here. That's why our goal in JHI is for faith in Jesus to become personal. This is why every element of what we do is designed to point towards a personal faith in Jesus. Following Jesus isn't clinical, it's not classroom. We have a God who wants us to experience him on a personal level. This is the reason why we start and end with fun. We want middle school students to enjoy their time here and look forward to it each week. So we look for ways to have a good time. We usually start off with games and hangout time before and after service, and then an engaging game from the stage to start our services. And then there's worship. We have an amazing band of talented and passionate musicians that lead us every week in songs to really help our students get their eyes off of themselves and up on God. And then we have biblical teaching. We want middle school students to see the truths of the Bible for themselves and discover how to find and follow the central character of the Bible, that's Jesus. Then we have groups. It's the best part of what we do. Groups is the best part because it's where your middle school student experiences life-giving community, not only with other students in their grade, but also with their group leader. And a group leader is just a spiritual mentor that meets each week with our students. They lead the conversation, and through relationship with their students, they invite each one 
to take their next step towards Jesus. So let's talk about how we partner up for your students' faith in Jesus to become personal. I want to share three commitments that YX is making to you, the parent. The first is this one, calendar. We want you to be in the know of what's going on around here. We, when we meet, where to be, what to bring, we want you to have the details. Uh, so any events outside of normal service times and flow, we have the who, what, when, where, and why, and how much on our events page on our website. If you prefer seeing the events laid out on a calendar, we have that too. And the only time we send an email to you is when we have something coming up on the calendar that we want to make sure that you don't miss out on. So our commitment to you is the calendar. Our second commitment to you is conversation. Remember that scenario I was describing of asking your student what YX was about and you just got the one word answer? Well, we can help you ask even more specific questions to hopefully get more of an answer out of them. So we want to help you join the conversation with what we're teaching and talking about with your students. So the best way to do that is to spy in on us. You can see the big idea, you can see the key verses for each YX, so you're ready to continue the conversation at home. And with YouTube, you can even watch the same teaching that your student's getting. So you can watch the playback of the message, you can watch live if you want to. And so that's how we help you with the conversation. You can see the same questions we're asking in the small group, you can see all of that, and that's again on our website under the calendar for each event for every Sunday morning. The third commitment that we want to make to you is care. As your student's parent, you are the ultimate influence in your student's life. You're the one that God assigned to mentor, disciple, coach, correct, and raise your student. And the way we view YX is it's a supplement designed to help reinforce your leadership. We're on the same team and we have your back. And we're available to meet if you ever need some time for you or your student with our group leaders, youth staff, or our pastoral care team. And if you have any questions for us, if you just want to get to know us better, we'd love to chat with you. So if you want to have the calendar, if you want to be involved in the conversation, if you want to reach out for some care, you can see and do all of that from our website, yxyouth.com. Hey, thank you so much for listening. We're praying for you. We're excited for your student to join us, and we'll see you August 15th.